Hello everyone, welcome to Aglasem Schools. In this video, we will be covering exercise 2.2 of chapter 2 that is linear equation in one variable. Question number 1 is, if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? So let us suppose the number be x. According to the question, we get 1 by 2 multiplied by x minus 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 8. Now 1 by 2 will be multiplied by x minus 1 by 2 which is 1 by 2x minus 1 by 4 is equals to 1 by 8. Moving minus 1 by 4 to RHS we get 1 by 2x equals to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. 1 by 2x is equals to 1 plus 2 upon 8. So 1 by 2x is equals to 3 by 8. Now 1 by 2 will be multiplied by 3 by 8 that is x equals to 3 by 8 into 2 by 1 which is equals to 3 by 4. Question number 2 is the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is 154 meter. Its length is 2 meter more than twice its breadth. What are the length and breadth? Let the breadth of the pool be x meter and the length of the pool be 2x plus 2 meter. So therefore, the perimeter is equals to 2 into L plus B. According to the question, 154 is equals to 2 into x plus 2x plus 2. By solving the above equation, we get 154 equals to 2x plus 4x plus 4. 154 is equals to 6x plus 4. Now, 4 will be shifted to LHS. Therefore, we get 154 minus 4 is equals to 6x. 150 is equals to 6x. Now, dividing 150 by 6, we get 150 upon 6 equals to x. Therefore, x is equals to 25. Now, length of the pool will be 2x plus 2, which is equals... Mm. Therefore, length of the pool will be 2 into 25 plus 2, which is equals to 50 plus 2, which is equals to 52 meter. And the breadth of the pool will be 25 meter. Question number 3 is, the base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm. The perimeter of the triangle is 4, 2 upon 15 cm. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? Let us, let us suppose each side of an isosceles... Let us suppose each side of an isosceles triangle be x cm. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangle is sum of all three sides. That is 4, 2 upon 15 equals to 4 by 3 plus x plus x. Or we can call it as 62 upon 15 equals to 4 by 3 plus 2x. Now, so, now solving this equation we get 62 upon 15 minus 4 by 3 is equals to 2x. By taking LCM we get 62 minus 20 divided by 15 is equals to 2x. 42 upon 15 equals to 2x. Now, by shifting 2 into the LHS, we get 42 upon 15 into 1 by 2 equals to x. Therefore, x is equals to 7 by 5 or 1, 2 upon 5 centimeter. Question number 4 is, sum of two numbers is 95. If one exceeds the other by 15, find the number. According to question, sum of two numbers is equals to 95. Let sum of first number be x and the second number be x plus 15. So, x plus x plus 15 is equals to 95. Following further, we get 2x plus 15 equals to 95. 2x is equals to 95 minus 15. 2x is equals to 80. Now, dividing 80 by 2, we get x equals to 40. So, the first number is equals to 40 and the second number is 40 plus 15 which is equals to 55. Question number 5. Two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If they differ by 18, what are the numbers? Let the two numbers be 5x and 3x. According to the question, we get 5x minus 3x equals to 18. 2x is equals to 18 and x is equals to 18 by 2. Therefore, x is equals to 9. So, the first number is 5 into 9 equals to 45 and second number is 3 into 9 equals to 27. Question number 6 is, Three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? Let the three consecutive integers be x, 
x plus 1 and x plus 2. According to question, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals to 51, 3x plus 3 equals to 51. Moving 3 to RHS, we get 3x equals to 48. Now, dividing 3 on RHS, we get x equals to 48 by 3. Therefore, x is equals to 16. Therefore, first integer is 16, second integer is 16 plus 1 equals to 17 and third integer is 16 plus 2 equals to 18. Question number 7 is the sum of 3 consecutive multiplies of 8 is 888. Find the multiples. Let the 3 consecutive multiplies be x, x plus 8 and x plus 16. According to question, x plus x plus 8 plus x plus 16 equals to 888. So, 3x plus 24 is equals to 888. Now, solving the above equation, we get 3x equals to 888 minus 24. Therefore, 3x is equals to 864. Now, moving 3 to RHS, we get x equals to 864 by 3. Therefore, x is equals to 288. Hence, first multiple of 8 is 288. Second multiple of 8 is 288 plus 8, which is equals to 296. Third multiple of 8 is 288 plus 16, which is equals to 304. Moving further, we get 9x equals to 74 minus 11 and 9x equals to 63. Now, moving 9 to the RHS, we get x equals to 63 by 9. Therefore, x is equals to 7. Hence, the first integer is 7. Second in integer is 7 plus 1 equals to 8. And third integer is 7 plus 2 equals to 9. Question number 8 is, Three consecutive integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively, they add up to 74. Find the number. Let the three number, let the three consecutive integers be x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. According to the question, 2 into x plus 3 into x plus 1 plus 4 into x plus 2 is equal to 74. We get 2x plus 3x plus 3 plus 4x plus 8 equals to 74. 9x plus 11 equals to 74. Now, shifting 11 to RHS, we get 9x equals to 74 minus 11. 9x is equals to 63. Now, shifting 9 to RHS, we get x equals to 63 divided by 9. Therefore, x is equals to 7. Hence, first integer is 7. Second integer is 7 plus 1 equals to 8 and the third integer is 7 plus 2 equals to 9. Question number 9 is the ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio of 5 is to 7. 4 years later, the sum of their ages will be 56 years. What are their present age? Let us suppose the present age of Rahul be 5x and present age of Harun be 7x. According to question 5x plus 4 plus 7x plus 4 is equals to 56, which is equals to 12x plus 8 equals to 56. By solving first equation, we get the equation 2, which is equals to 12x equals to 56 minus 8, 12x is equals to 48. Further. Moving further, x equals to 48 divided by 12 and x equals to 4. Hence, the present age of Rahul is 5 into 4 equals to 20 years and the present age of Harun is 7 into 4 equals to 28 years. Question number 10 is, the number of boys and girls in the class are in the ratio of 7 is to 5. The number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls. What is the total class strength? Let us suppose the number of girls be x. Then number of boys will be x plus 8. Moving further, according to the question, x plus 8 upon x is equals to 7 upon 5. Cross, multipli cross multiplying the equation, we get 5 into x plus 8 equals to 7x. 5x plus 40 is equals to 7x. 40 is equals to 7x minus 5x. Therefore, 40 is equals to 2x. Therefore, x is equals to 40 divided by 2 and x is equals to 20. Hence, the number of girls is 20 and the number of boys is 20 plus is 28. Question number 11 is, Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather and 29 years older than Bai Chung. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. What is the age of each of them? 
let us suppose Baichun's age be x years. Then Baichun's father age is equals to x plus twenty nine years, and Baichun's grandfather age is equals to x plus twenty nine plus twenty six years. According to the question, adding three equations, we get x plus x plus twenty nine. Plus x plus fifty five is equals to one thirty five, which is equals to three x plus eighty four equals to one thirty five. By moving eighty four to RHS, we get three x equals to one thirty five minus eighty four. Moving further, we get three x equals to fifty one. Therefore, x is equals to fifty one divided by three, and x is equals to seventeen. Hence, Bai Chun's age is equals to seventeen years. Bai Chun's father age is equals to seventeen plus twenty nine, which is equals to forty six years. And Bai Chun's grandfather age is equals to seventeen plus twenty nine plus twenty six, which is equals to seventy two years. Question number twelve is fifteen years from now, Ravi's age will be four times his present age. What is the Ravi's present age? Let us suppose Ravi's present age age be x. After fifteen years, Ravi's Age will be four x years. Fifteen years from now, Ravi's age equals to x plus fifteen years. According to the question, four x is equals to x plus fifteen. Now, solving the above equation, we get four x minus x equals to fifteen. Three x is equals to fifteen, and x equals to five. Hence, Ravi's present age be five years. Question number thirteen is the rational number is such that when you multiply it by five by two and add two by three to the product, you get minus seven upon twelve. What is the number? Let us suppose the rational number be x. Therefore, five upon two x plus two upon three is equals to minus seven upon twelve. Moving further, we get five upon two x equals to minus seven upon twelve minus two upon three. Now taking LCM of twelve and three, we get five upon two x equals to minus seven minus eight upon twelve. Five upon two x is equals to minus fifteen upon twelve. Now five by twelve will be shifted to RHS. That is x equals to minus fifteen upon twelve into two upon five. Therefore x equals to one by two. Question number fourteen is: Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denominations rupees hundred, rupees fifty, and rupees ten, respectively. The ratio of the number of these notes is two is to three is to five. The total cash with Lakshmi is rupees four lakh. How many notes of each denominations does she have? Let the number of each note be two x, three x, five x. According to the question, hundred into two x plus fifty into three x. Plus ten into five x is equals to four lakhs. Four hundred x is equals to four lakhs. Now moving four hundred to RHS, we get x equals to four lakhs upon four hundred. Therefore, x is equals to thousand. Hence, the number of denominations of hundred rupees notes is equals to two into thousand equals to two thousand. And the number of denomination of fifty notes is equals to three into thousand equals to three thousand. And the number of denominations of rupees ten notes is equals to five into thousand equals to five thousand. Question number fifteen is: I have total of rupees three hundred in coins of denominations rupees one, rupees two, and rupees five. The number of rupees two coins is three times the number of rupees five coins. The total number of coins is one sixty. How many coins of each denominations are with me? The total sum of money is. Three hundred. Let the number of rupees five coin be x. Therefore, the number of rupees two coins be three x. Number of rupees one coin be one sixty minus x plus three x, which is equals to one sixty minus four x. According to the question, five into x plus two x into three x plus one into one sixty minus four x is equals to three hundred. Solving the equation, we get. 5x plus 6x plus 160 minus 4x is equals to 300. Moving further, 7x plus 160 is equals to 300. Now 160 will be shifted to RHS, which is equals to 7x equals to 300 minus 160. 7x equals to 140, and therefore x equals to 140 divided by 7 equals to 20. Hence the number of coins of rupees five denominations equals to 20. And the number of rupees two denominations is equals to 
3 into 20 equals to 60. Therefore, the number of rupees 1 denomination equals to 160 minus 4 into 20 which is equals to 80. Question number 16 is the organizers of an essay competition decided that a winner in the competition gets a prize of rupees 100 and a participant who doesn't win gets a prize of rupees 25. The total prize money distributed is rupees 3000. Find the total number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. According to the question, total number of money is equals to rupees 3000. Let the number of winner of rupees 1000 let the number of winners of rupees 1000 be x and those who are not winners is equals to 63 minus x. So 100 into x plus 25 into 63 minus x is equals to 3000. 100x plus 1575 minus 25x equals to 3000. 75x plus 1575 is equals to 3000. Moving 1575 to RHS we get 75x equals to 3000 minus 1575. Moving further, we get 75x equals to 1425. Now moving 75 to RHS, we get 75x equals to 1425. x equals to 1425 divided by 75. Therefore, x equals to 19. Hence, the number of winners are 19. So this is all from our side. For more such informative videos, subscribe our channel. Thank you.